why Zapper is better than the Rife machine? I'd say there's uh, several reasons why. And it sounds almost ludicrous at first, but <laughs> she's she had a light shining in her face, squinting her eyes. Uh, but obviously, I think you know one of the main reasons is that, you know, first off, the price. But then you're thinking, well, does the Zapper do the same thing as the Rife machine? Can it do the same thing as the Rife machine? Well, one of the problems you have, or two of the problems you have with a Rife machine, well, besides the cost, is you need to be near the machine for it to work, which makes it an inconvenience. Uh, it, you know, it's a little more involved. It's like it's, it's plugged into the wall. Uh, you, you got more complicated equipment. Some people find it, I don't find it too complicated, but it's complicated for some people. And with a zapper, you just basically turn it on, and you have different modes. And this is the cheapest power zapper six pack, but it's still got you know fourteen frequencies in it that are very commonly used. Um, now the other side of it is this. Besides, make the you know the portability feature is actually a major drawback to the Rife machine because if you you can take the zapper with you at any point anywhere you're at you can wear um like a belt make a belt use the flat copper paddles versus these these uh, copper tubes or pipes use the flat copper paddles and you can wear a belt and put one paddle on each side of your waist and you can be going about your business you could be say you're making a drive someplace for a couple hours you could be wearing this belt with the zapper it's no bigger than a you know, a pack of cigarettes or your cell phone, right? It's not big at all. Right, girly? <laughs> so, you know, you can get in a lot of hours of zapping without it being an inconvenience. And sometimes it's like a lot of hours of, of zapping will work against microbes just as good as a, 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 any rife machine when you're adding all those hour, hours up. And, you know, the other thing is, you know, you only have to put like one rechargeable battery in this one. It's very easy to change the battery. That's another feature. Um, now the other th problem is with a Rife machine, you need to know what frequency to use. Now, of course, knowing the frequency to use on a multi-frequency zapper such as this, now this is the lowest price power zapper. They have other ones that have hundreds of frequencies, right? And they're still this size. This one's got 14 frequencies, which is a lot more than most of them out there for, by far. And the price is, I think it was 139 or something like that around there. But, uh, you know, far cheaper than a, a Rife machine. But since it runs the square wave with positive offset, it'll work. You know, even if you have the wrong frequency, um, it'll work eventually. Because it's the positive offset that works against all microbes, just the fact that it's a square wave with 100% positive offset. This actually has a slight pedestal offset, and all his zappers actually have um, the constant current technology, so as the battery is being depleted, the, the current is still coming out the same at the paddles. That's another feature. But, uh, say you have the wrong, say you're, you know, say, you know, like in other words, this technology would be great if it was in conjunction with medical doctors. Whenever that's going to happen, it might be 100 years from now, for crying out loud. I mean, they're so far behind, far behind the curve, it's unbelievable. Um, now, But if you look at the consolidated annotated frequency list, and there's a lot of frequencies in there, but some of the frequencies do really, in fact, have major benefits. And those are the frequencies that are commonly put in a power zapper, like this 10,000 hertz on mode 6 is a great frequency. But as you use the zapper... And a positive offset, and say you, you know, maybe you need to use 465 or something, and you're using 727 or whatever, it's it's still going to work because of the positive offset. It might take longer to work, but it's going to work eventually. In the case of the Rife machine, you need to know exactly what the frequency is, or it's not going to do anything. In other words, you got to need to know what kind of microbes or element. So, in other words, you know, the Rife technology would be best used in a real medical profession where they could diagnose exactly what the issue is. Because you, as a person, you're basically experimenting. 
and you know but using you know what you know rife technology that's where it would work better because if you had that used by a medical doctor they'd say well you got this issue you have that issue you have pneumonia lungs or something or whatever so they dial in you know they know the, they know the right for true right frequency for pneumonia now I don't think the zapper would you know it, it, you know the thing is but the thing is if you were like Say you had pneumonia, you know, say you're using a zapper 20 hours a day. Would it have effect? I would think so, a great deal effect. I've noticed that the more you use it, the more energy you seem to have, and the less often you ever get sick, despite being exposed to people with colds and all kinds of stuff like that. I've noticed this. Now, that's not over, you know, it's just me talking from my experience but you know, this is this is somebody who's been testing these things for I don't know about eight years or so, eight nine years. So you know, it's it's my own experience, but over quite a period of years and a lot of testing, I've noticed that the more you use a zapper, the better you, the stronger you feel, and the less tendencies to have problems. And I've noticed even if you had a little sore throat coming on, I put one of the paddles by the throat which is the red positive offset side, and it knocks it out really quick. I've noticed uh, they had an infected tooth, but it knocked that problem out real quick, too. Those are personal experiences. Now, a Rife machine could do the same thing, except that you need to know the exact frequency for what it is. In other words, say, for instance, you had the common cold or the flu. Well, you know, it's the common cold and the flu, a lot of times, is... A generic label for, it could be a number of problems. Sometimes the common cold is due to bacterial issues. Sometimes it's due to viral issues. Or maybe even environmental toxic issues. You know, in the case, you know, so you would never know what exact frequency to use. Then, but the Rife machine, if you did know the right exact frequency, and say, for instance, a medical doctor was able to determine exact microbe, dial in the exact frequency, that would be a great thing. The Rife machine would be a great machine for professional medical people because they would know that's the issue, that's the microbe, that's the problem, so we know what frequencies we're going to try. But if you don't know, you don't even know, you know, you just know what your symptoms are. Um, you know, you say, the zapper, it's like, it's like as long as it's positive offset and it's running a good, clean, crisp square wave with 100% positive offset with some pedestal offset like this Paris Zapper has here, um, it's going to work one way or the other. Even with the, even if you're not using the best frequency, just because it has positive offset. Now you combining that with the fact that the Zapper can be is portable. You know, in other words, sometimes it maybe it ain't going to work in ten minutes or thirty minutes or even three hours. Maybe you got to use it a dozen hours a day for a few a few days. Then it works, right? It has effect. It has measurable effect. Um, that's what I've always found myself. But see, you're not going to be able to do that. You know, I mean, you wouldn't need to use that Rife machine that long. But the thing is, if you have the wrong frequency, it's not going to work at all. The Rife machine won't work at all. If you have the wrong frequency, it will not work at all. The, para, the, the zapper, the para zapper, has that 100% positive offset. Now, you saw the demonstrations probably in water. You know body's mostly water, right? So, I mean, you know, if it kills microbes in water, what do you think it's doing? Eh, you know, it's, I don't know, whatever. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But it's, it's actually, even though it's way cheaper, it's way simpler to use, uh, when you're adding up the fact that it's more portable, than it, and that, which makes it, makes it easy to use it many hours a day, uh, it's, that makes it more effective in a real practical world. I think one of the main problems with the zapper is most people grab it and they want to use it for like five minutes or 20 minutes and they're done. But if you're going to use it like most of the day, you want to set something up where you whereby you wear it. Right, kitty? It's Gold Digger. She's doing pretty good. Your fur is looking good, huh? So anyway, I figured I'd point this out. Despite the low cost and the fact that it's about the size of a pack of cigarettes or um, kind of like a uh, short, <laughs> short, thick cell phone. <laughs> I don't know what to, you know, it's basically like the size of a pack of cigarettes, basically. That's what it is. 
despite their small size, it, it's it's powerful. But you know, you're not going to get any benefit out of it if you only use it about 20 minutes. It may be a little bit, 20 minutes a day. But you'll really notice a lot when you use it a lot of hours a day. And, um, you know, for that reason, I, I really think it's actually more powerful and better than a rifle machine. It's better. It's better. you got to know what you're doing with the rifle machine. you got to know, you know, what's my issue? If you have an infection, well, what microbe is causing the infection? If you don't know, the, mic the rifle machine might not get the problem done. Now, in the case with the parrot zapper, if you're using a positive offset and you have the wrong frequency, just the fact that it has positive offset and it's running a good, clean, crisp square wave under load with a, with a pedestal, slight pedestal offset, where the voltage doesn't get anywhere near zero, even with the wrong frequency, it's going to work. It's going to knock out those microbes. Right? She's getting educated here. Gold Digger, the, the white cat with the black hat. She's got a black hat. She's a sweetie pie. I love this little cat, man. I like all my little cats. Anyway, so I, point, I want to point this out, man. This is almost like... I mean, it's good having a lot of features on a lot of, on the rife machines, and they could do a lot more, probably a lot quicker. But then again, you might not know what the issue is, and then you're picking... If you pick the wrong frequency, it ain't going to work. You got to know what the heck's going on, you know. And unfortunately, amongst the real rife frequencies that are known, which actually do work, uh, most of Royal Rife's records have been were destroyed. Like he's got the one for cancer. Now, I think in a case of cancer, having a true rife machine would be a smart thing to have. Because they do know the cancer frequencies. You know, that's that would be an exception where but you know, with the power set, I don't know, you know. I've not tried it on myself. I don't have cancer, but um, you know, I would if I did I would use I would be using a power zapper and a rifle machine together. I'd be using both of them. Right, girly? This cat is actually feeling a lot better. I've noticed uh, when I got her a lot of her fur was missing. She had these little red dots that's that's gone away. She's getting roaming around the house a lot more now too. She's got more energy. Must be those ad life cat vitamins, right, girly? Huh? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's my little buddy here, girly friend, my girly cat friend. Yeah. <laughs>